hey, do you want to get a bigger saxophone sound? Here are my five awesome sound hacks for saxophone that are going to get you sounding amazing. <laughs> Hey, Nigel here from Sax School. So here are my five awesome sound hacks for saxophone because you know all of us need to improve our sound. It's the one thing that identifies us as players and you know it's one of the most important things for us to be working on every single day. Get an amazing sound and everything else is going to fall into place. Here we go. So number one's a really easy one. It's lip position. Now loads of us get this wrong because probably we're taught the wrong way. When we start learning we're always told to put our lip over our teeth like this. I think that's the wrong way to do it. I don't think you should have too much slip over your teeth, although it's a great way to start playing saxophone. The easiest hack you can make with your sound is to start experimenting with using less slip over your teeth. So what I'm talking about is having your lip a little bit further out when you're playing, it's gonna really open up your sound and make a massive difference. <laughs> So just that one simple little thing is going to allow your reed to vibrate more freely and it gives you much more control over your mouthpiece as well. So just move your mouth, your lip out just a little bit further and it's going to open up your sound. You're going to have to do this gradually, just start by experimenting moving it out. And one other way to think about it is you want to think about rather than folding your lip over your teeth, think about if you just pulled your lip tight against your teeth, a little bit of your lip is going to go over your teeth anyway. Just the fleshy part on your back of your lip, that's all you need. You don't need any more than that then it's more about your embouchure strength to support that mouthpiece. Here's tip number two. So my second tip is all about your throat. You need to have an open throat. This sounds obvious, but loads of people miss out on this. So what I'm talking about here is you gotta think about the air flowing up through your lungs and into your saxophone. And if it's getting constricted here, it's gonna really close off your sound and you're gonna get a very narrow sound. So what we need to think about is having a very open throat when we're playing. So imagine if you were yawning, or imagine if you were singing opera. Yo, 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 yo. Okay, so that's a bit stupid. But if you have got an open throat like that, like you're singing really loud or yawning, then all of this cavity in here is massive and that lets the air flow out and it really makes a big difference to your sound. <laughs> Have an experiment with that and see how it works for you. If you've got a closed off throat like this, you're gonna get a closed off sound. So if you've got a big open throat, you're gonna get a massive sound on saxophone. Okay, here's tip number three. I love this one because you can incorporate it into your regular warm up routine. Slow melodies. Slow melodies are the best way to develop your sound because it gives you lots of time to think about your embouchure, to think about your throat, to think about your breathing, and you can put all the elements together to make it sound really amazing. <laughs> Now it could be any slow melody, it could be something that you love, a pop tune, a jazz standard, it could even just be playing a scale slowly. But the key really is to think about every element of your sound production while you're playing that long note. So we're thinking about our embouchure, we're thinking about our open throat, we're thinking about our breathing, and we're thinking about our lip position as well. But there's one more important thing. When you're playing the slow melody, you really need to think about blowing right through those phrases so your air is joining all of those notes together. This is super important. So when you join all your notes together like this with your air, what you're doing is you're creating a lovely, warm, long sound, and it's gonna help you to really think about your sound, develop the continuity between the notes, and it's gonna really boost your embouchure. And that's a technique that you can use a lot when you're playing in any style of music. So nice slow melodies, think about playing really long by blowing right through the phrases, and then think about all these other elements too, your embouchure, your lip, your breathing, your posture, put it all together. Okay, here's tip number four. So my fourth awesome hack for sound on saxophone is intervals. I love practicing intervals. Love practicing intervals. Why are intervals so good for you? Well, it's simple. If you're working on things like fifths or octaves, and you're thinking about keeping a consistent sound between the two things, it massively strengthens your embouchure and also sorts out any little irregularities that you might be having in your lip position, your jaw position, or your breathing. So what I do when I'm practicing intervals is I start really simple and start with something like an octave. <laughs> So just starting with something simple like an octave where I'm starting on a low note, let's say a G or an F, and then playing the octave above and then coming back down, 
It gives me an opportunity to think about what's happening with my embouchure. Best if you've got your tuner going there with you as well so you can check the intonation is correct. And then really think about not moving your jaw. So you want to keep your air consistent, you want to keep your embouchure consistent, and most importantly, you want to keep your sound consistent. So start on a really easy note like G or F or A and work from there up an octave. And then gradually you want to work your way down to the bottom of your range and then work all the way up to the top of your range. Want to boost things up and make it a little bit more fun? If you're ready to really push that a little bit further, then why don't you try working on intervals like a fifth or a seventh or an augmented fifth or a ninth. There's all sorts of combinations that you can do, but using the same principle, start in the middle of your range, get that interval sounding great and then move all the way down and then move all the way up. Trust me, if you can do five minutes of that every day, your sound will go through the roof. Okay, here's my final sound hack for saxophone players. Radio, so I've saved the best one for last. This is my fifth sound hack for saxophone, and this one is overtones. So if you've never done overtones before, what we're talking about here is fingering one note, like a low C, B flat, or B natural, but then producing a different note. So we're gonna get the octave above, or the fifth, above that note. Now overtones are really, really important because they're kind of a stepping stone toward getting your altissimo notes out on saxophone. And if you get it right, you're really gonna strengthen your throat and it's gonna make a huge improvement to your sound. This is probably the hardest exercise, but it's the one that's gonna see the most benefit for you if you do it consistently. <laughs> And if you want to do things like this. So overtones are a great thing to work on and the best way to start them is just by starting with a single note. So playing your low B flat and just trying to get the octave above. If you can nail that one, then try the B natural. And then the C. And if you're feeling a bit more adventurous, you can try getting the fifth above that and then the octave above that. I've got a bunch of other lessons inside sax school that'll help you getting started with that, but overtones are the best exercise you can do. So there you go, those are my five saxophone sound hacks. Now trust me, these five sound hacks are the best thing you can do to get your sound going. And if you can find a few minutes every day to work on at least one of those, then you're gonna see a massive improvement in your sound. I hope that's helped you. Keep practicing hard, I'll see you next time. Hey, 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 don't go anywhere. There's loads of other stuff on my YouTube channel here. Lessons, videos of me playing, some crazy multi-track saxophone videos too. So please subscribe to the channel and check out the other videos. I know that can help you. Click the subscribe button now and check out my new videos. Hey, and if you're really ready to move your skills forward, then check out my full range of step-by-step -step video lessons inside Sax School at mcgillmusic.com. Inside the members area there, we've got over 500 step-by-step -step video lessons to help you with jazz, improvising, learning great pop tunes, skills like overtones and altissimo, and even getting started right from the very beginning of learning saxophone. Thousands of players are using that every single day and they can help you too. That's over at mcgillmusic.com. You can get a 30-day trial to try it out yourself and see if it's right for you. Hope to see you inside Zach School.